Happy Tuesday. Welcome. It's not Tuesday. Oh my gosh, it's Thursday. I don't know what day it is, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to Total Body Strength. Um, we're going to go ahead, we're going to get started um, with our circuit. So we're going to do three rounds today. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Um, all we need today is um, a set of dumbbells. I know, yeah, it's, it's a quite, but quite a morning already since I don't know what day it is, right? <laughs> um, all right, so we're doing 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We need one set of dumbbells. Always recommend two, a heavier and a lighter. So that way we can push ourselves a little bit with that heavier one. And then as we go through, really get down to those lighter ones as our form starts to go. So we're going to go ahead and first thing we're going to do is we're going to do one arm overhead presses. So for these, I actually don't need my toner long. Sorry. All right. So for these, we're going to take one dumbbell at a time. We're going to do one second up, four seconds down. So lowering that dumbbell nice and slow, pushing up, and then one, two, three, four, down. So we're going to do all on one arm and then we're going to do 45 seconds or 40 seconds on the other arm, straight up. And then one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. So that's going to be our first two. And then the third thing we're going to do, we're going to do some goblet squats. So for the goblet squat, we're going to take that dumbbell. The top is going to be up right underneath the chin. And this one also four seconds down. So feet shoulder width apart here. And one, two, three, four, right back up. One, two, three, four, and right back up. So that's me number three. And then we're gonna grab our other dumbbell. And we're gonna do um, bent over rows into a tricep extension. So we're gonna push those hips back keep that back flat. We're going to pull the dumbbells up towards the butt and then extend all the way out and then back down. So we're squeezing through the armpit and then kicking those hands out and back down. So that is going to be the fourth thing we're going to do. And then the last two movements are the same one leg at a time. We're going to do those staggered RDLs. So all the weight is going to be on one foot. Other foot is going to be off to the side, like a kickstand keeping just the toe on the ground. We don't want to use the other leg at all. And then we'll push the hips back and then come back to center. So from this angle, push those hips back, push the ground away from you. And then we'll move on to the other leg. Same thing. Other leg is just there to help us with balance, only using one leg to perform the movement. So that is going to be our whole circuit today. We're going to go pretty quickly through it all and um, getting all our total body worked today. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our warm up here. So we're gonna take it to the ground in a half kneeling position here. So we're gonna do hip flexor hamstring. I'll just go back a little bit more so we can see our my legs. All right, so my right knee is on the ground, left foot on the ground. We're gonna tuck that pelvis, squeeze the glute, the knee that's on the ground, push those hips forward. You can even raise that arm above head if that feels good. But if not, we're just pushing those hips forward. And on the next exhale, we're gonna rock our hips back into that hamstring stretch. So front leg is straight, keeping our back flat, toes towards the ceiling. And on the next exhale, we're gonna rock back into that hip flexor stretch. So squeeze that glute, push those hips forward, raise that arm above head. Nice big deep belly breaths, exhaling back to hip hamstring stretch. Great job. And we can go ahead and release out of that. We're gonna switch over to the other side. So same thing, but opposite feet. So my right foot is on the ground, my left knee is on the ground. We're gonna tuck that pelvis, we're squeezing that glute nice and tight, and then we're gonna push those hips forward, keeping our back flat pushing as far as we can. You can even reach that other arm above head, whatever feels good. And we're gonna exhale, rocking back into that hamstring stretch, trying to get as close to the knee as we can. Nice 
And we're gonna exhale back to hip flexor. So squeeze that glute, push those hips forward, arm above head if that feels good. Squeeze that glute. Find a good angle that feels good. And we're gonna exhale into our um, hamstring stretch, goodness. You can tell it's still early because I can't, my brain is not working. All right, and we can go ahead and release out of that. And next part of our warm up here, we're gonna do some plank to pike, get our core and our upper body warmed up a little more. So onto our hands and toes, into that plank position. Oh my gosh, my core is too sore for that. Okay, so we're in that plank position and then we're gonna push our hips up into that down dog or pike position. Getting the hips up, getting that good stretch to the calves. We can even pedal our heels. And then we're gonna go back down to plank and right back up into pike. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, I can't, my hands are too sore. Okay, so we're pushing up and then back down into our plank position. And last one, pushing our hips up into pike. And when we're ready, going back to plank, then we can drop to our hands and knees. And then we're going to get started. I'm just going to be laughing at myself the whole class, you guys. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Hopefully, we're all laughing at me right now so we can get, get our morning started with a good laugh. Okay, so we're going to get started. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest, three times through. We're starting with our one arm. Alternate. No, we're not alternating. We're doing one arm at a time. Thank you, Nicole, for also laughing at me. Appreciate it. I'm glad we're all laughing at me right now because. I'm struggling. <laughs> okay, one arm overhead presses, four seconds down, getting ready here in three, two, one. So you can start with whatever arm you'd like. I'm gonna start with my right arm all the way up, four seconds down. So because we are taking four seconds on the way down, we really wanna control the weight. And then we wanna end with it right above the shoulder, but our elbows aren't sinking below our shoulders, right? So we're keeping that elbow up. That's gonna help us with the range of motion here. We also wanna make sure we're keeping our core tight. We wanna be nice and stable. We don't wanna be leaning over to the side as we're pressing up. We use that core to keep ourselves stable, which is a little bit harder when we only have one dumbbell. Three, two, one. All right, we got 20 seconds. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I don't know why I'm so off this morning. My core is sore. My had a root canal yesterday. My face a little sore. We're doing good though. We're getting her workout in. Three, two, one. Other arm pressing all the way above head. Four seconds down, and then right back up. Again, really making sure our core is tight. If we need to help balance ourselves out, we can have that other arm off to the side. If that's going to help us not rotate through the core. But I want us to challenge ourselves to really try and keep those shoulders level with each other without that arm up. Keep breathing. We're pushing the weight above head. Almost there. We'll probably have time for one, maybe two more. Three, two, one. All right. Next up, we have goblet squats. Same format four seconds down, one second up. So focusing on the eccentric portion is just gonna help us get a little bit more muscle recruitment from all of our muscles. We're really gonna start feeling that. Three, two, one. So feet hip width apart here. One, two, three, four, right back up. One, two, three, four. We wanna make sure we're keeping our chest up. We don't wanna be bending here. We want the butt down chest up at the bottom of the squat, letting those knees track past our second toe, keeping that core tight too so our back is staying nice and flat. Nice and slow down, powering up, really pushing that ground away from us. Three, two, one, all right. Grabbing our other dumbbell, we're doing our bent over row into tricep extension. 
oh, if I can stand back up from this block. Okay, we're getting up. I'm, I'm going, we're going, okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Pushing those hips back, we're rowing towards our butt. So the hands are going back and then kicking those arms out. So with the extension part, we wanna act like we're punching the ceiling with our um, the pinkies and really making sure that as we're here, I'll go a little closer. So my elbow's here, my elbow isn't moving, just my forearm here on those extensions. We're really keeping those elbows stable, kicking the way out and then back down. Keeping that back flat, three, two, one. All right. Last two movements we got are technically the same. <laughs> so we're doing those staggered stance of Romanian deadlifts or RDLs next. All right, getting ready here. Three, two, one. So pick whatever leg you'd like. I'm starting with my left leg, pushing my hips back, pushing the ground away. We want to make sure we stop the movement when our hips stop moving back. So we don't have to touch the dumbbells all the way to the ground. We shouldn't be touching the dumbbells to the ground. We want to stop about mid shin and then come back up. If we go down too far, you're going to start to use your low back instead of our glutes and hamstrings. So we're pushing those hips back. We want to make sure we're also keeping our dumbbells in the center. So from this angle, you see, I'm not leaning over to the side. Dumbbells are just like if we're doing two legs. Three, two, one. All right. Now we've got the other leg coming up. So same thing, really keeping those dumbbells in front. We don't want them off to the side. That's going to put pressure on the opposite side of the low back. We don't want that at all. All right. Three, two, one. Other leg. Push those hips back. Really making sure too, we're keeping our upper back nice and flat. So pinch our shoulder blades together. So if we imagine we have an orange or an egg, we're squeezing that behind our shoulders to make sure our upper back is staying nice and flat. Because otherwise, if we come down here, that's putting all that pressure on our low back. So we don't want to round those backs, keeping everything nice and tight. Use that core to keep that pelvis tucked. So at the top, imagine pulling our butt towards the belly button and then keep it there with the core as we push this hips back. Three, two, one. All right, round one is done. We're starting back at the top with our one arm overhead presses. Again, four seconds down, one second up. All right, three, two, one, pushing up and back down, making sure that as we push up, we're not arching our back. We don't want that C-shape, wanna keep that butt towards the belly button. And again, really making sure we're not dipping our left shoulder for using the right arm. So that left and the right shoulder are staying stable and even the whole time. Shoulders are away from the ears. We're taking four seconds down. Breathing as we come up. Three, two, one. All right. We got our other arm coming on up. Doing single arm and single leg things are really good to even out any imbalances. We all tend to have one side that's a little bit stronger. So it's going to help us even everything out. Three, two, one. So up above head, lowering nice and slow, keeping that core tight, exhaling as we come up. Ooh, maybe next time we'll get real fancy and do four seconds up, four seconds down. That'll be a fun one. One, two, three, Four, keeping those elbows up. We don't want those elbows dipping much lower than the shoulder. It's gonna help us with our range of motion. We're gonna be able to do more reps with better form if we keep that elbow up. If we dip down, we have to work a lot harder. Three, two, one. I mean, even when I dip down, it's hard for me to get that back up with my shoulders. 
All right, we got goblet squats next. So holding that dumbbell right underneath the chin, four seconds down. We love that tempo. Three, two, one. A lot of the times too, we tend to really rush through that eccentric portion, which is that down for most lifts. So the eccentric is gonna change lift to lift depending on what you're doing. So right now the eccentric portion is this where we start to go down. So one, two, three, four. And then we contract quickly pushing that ground away from us. We're being explosive. So we're nice and slow and then exploding up. Keeping those heels on the ground, heel, big toe, little toe. Three, two, one. All right, we're getting ready. We gotta grab that either dumbbell that we have. We're doing our rows into extension. So really squeezing through our armpit. We wanna feel it in our lats, that whole muscle that makes up our side. It's one of the largest muscles in our bodies here. Three, two, one, hips are back, squeeze those armpits, punch the ceiling with our pinkies, keeping those elbows in the same place. We wanna keep those elbows stable. So that way we're just using our triceps. So our triceps really control the action of our elbow. So we wanna make sure we're keeping that stable so we feel that right in the backs of our arms been a while since we've done some tricep work. So I figured we'd mix it on in there, especially with our bent over rows. Three, two, one. All right. Last two here. We got the Romanian deadlifts. Staggered stance here. So I'm not talking too much. Three, two, one, so picking one leg here, other leg off the side, hips are back. Really push the ground. I want us to focus on pushing the ground away from us when we come back up. I also am just now realizing we were supposed to be doing these tempo. But that's okay. We can do whatever pace we'd like today for these. If you wanna do four seconds down, Feel free to start adding that in. Might as well, since we're doing that for the rest of the workout. Three, two, one. All right. Is anyone surprised that I forgot to mention that? I'm not. <laughs> it's always something. I have been really good with the time though. I will say that. I haven't missed a thing. Three, two, one, as we all know, once I start talking, I tend to look up at the clock and realize we've gone like five seconds over. But I haven't been doing that. So I'm pretty proud of myself for paying attention. Watch this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss it because I said something. I jinxed myself. That's okay. All right, pushing those hips back, keeping a slight bend in the knee, but we don't want our knee moving forward at all. Think hips back. We want to close that door, push the ground away on the way up. Three, two, one. All right. Last round coming up. We're going to do our alternating. No, I keep saying alternating. Our one arm overhead presses first. Three, two, one, start with whatever arm we'd like to. Four seconds down. Want to make sure our shoulder blades are also still kind of pinned down and back together on these ones. Just really making sure that all of the muscles that we are not using are still pulled nice and tight. We're pushing, we should feel that more in the front and middle of the shoulders. Also, really making sure that that elbow is slightly in, we don't want to be all the way out to the side. So keep that elbow in as we come up and down. So that path is really going to help us focus on our shoulders. Oh, time's out. Sorry, we didn't go over, I promise. 
It was at 40 seconds when I said that. So what happens when I turn my back? Okay. We're good. We're on it. We didn't mess up yet. I didn't jinx myself. Three, two, one. So dumbbell right above the shoulder, straight overhead. And four seconds down. So elbow slightly in. Great job. Lots of slow movements today, working our bodies a little bit differently. And then if you come to exercise with excess later, we're gonna get a lot of a different workout in. It's gonna be lots of cardio later. <laughs> just kidding. Well, not really just kidding, but the laugh was me joking. Three, two, one, all right. We are getting ready. We got our goblet squats next. Four seconds down, keeping that dumbbell right underneath the chin. All right, three, two, one. So we got one, two, three, four. Going until we, as low as we can without losing our form. So if we start to feel our butt kind of move under us a little too much, that's when we want to stop. So going to your depth, it's going to be different for everyone. If you need help working on your depth or maybe your squats aren't feeling so good, you can always schedule a consult with either me or any of the other excess coaches. And we can kind of help work through some mobility practices to help with our hips, three, two, one. All right, we gotta get both our dumbbells now. We got row to extensions. But if you schedule your consult, we can also, there are some things that we can do um, to help fix some squat form, like standing on some plates, elevating our heels a little bit. So there's a lot of things that we can help with there. Three, two, one. So push those hips back, we're in a row, and then kick those arms back and back down. So squeezing through the armpits. Want to make sure that at the top two, we're keeping that squeeze through our shoulder blades too. So that way we're stable as we use our triceps. We want to make sure we're not using momentum. Our back is flat, core is tight. Elbows are staying where they're, they are. We're not moving our arms at all. So from our shoulder to the elbow does not move. Three, two, one. All right. The last two movements of the class. We got our staggered Romanian deadlifts one leg at a time. So we got those last two to get through. And then we'll cool down. And then we can have a great Thursday because it's Thursday, not Tuesday. Three, two, one. So all the way on one foot, hips back. Push that ground away with that foot. The more we focus on pushing the ground, we're really going to activate our glutes and hamstrings. With the push the ground away, we don't want to pull the weight up. So focusing on pushing here, keeping those weights nice and close to the body, pushing those hips back. Keeping that pelvis tucked. Three, two, one. All right. Last movement of the morning. We're doing our other leg. And then we can go ahead and we'll set our, our dumbbells down. And we'll do some stretching. All right. Last thing. Three, two, one. All the way on the other foot. Pushing those hips back. Keeping those dumbbells center in the body here. Also with that leg that's out to the side, try and find a good space for you, whether that's really just keeping it right next to it. We got back, we can get out to the side, finding a comfortable place where we are balanced. We're still only using one leg here. Great job. We're finishing strong here. Last set, best set. Three, two, one, and we are done with 
total body strength this morning. Nice job, ladies. We did so good today. Always is good to start off the day with a good workout. Go ahead and set your dumbbells down. Grab a sip of water if you need it. We're gonna make our way to the ground for our stretching here. So we're gonna start off, we're just gonna stretch our hips out a little bit more. So I know we already did this to start off, but it's also a good way to cool down. We're gonna spend a little bit longer in each position here. So we're gonna do our hip flexor and hamstring stretch, but again, slowing it down. So my, I'll start with my left knee, on, sorry, my right knee on the ground, left foot on the ground. And we're gonna tuck that pelvis, keep that core tight, we're gonna squeeze that glute. We're just gonna start to push those hips forward. We wanna find a good median tension stretch that we can hold for a little bit longer here. So we're gonna start to really inhale nice and deep into the belly. Slowly exhaling. And on our next exhale, let's go ahead and rock those hips back. We're gonna do that hamstring stretch. So again, holding it here a little longer than we did before. It's still dynamic, but slow down enough that we're gonna really keep stretching our muscles out a little bit here. Toes to the ceiling, keeping that back nice and flat. Hips are staying back. And let's go ahead on the exhale. We're gonna do one more. So we're gonna push those hips forward, try and get a little deeper into the stretch for the second one here. Really breathing into the belly. Finding that good medium tension. Sometimes it's harder when we have to hold it for a little longer. And let's go ahead and exhale, bring those hips back. Lots of slow movement today in our workout. So we gotta make sure we stretch out nicely after. Try and get a little deeper into our hamstring stretch to really breathe into any tightness. And we can go ahead and exhale, come out of that. And we're gonna do that same thing on the other side. So we're gonna do two. And again, a little longer than our warm up here. So left knee on the ground, right foot on the ground, same checklist. We're gonna tuck that pelvis. So bring our butt to the belly button, squeeze that glute and push those hips forward. Breathing into the belly, nice and deep, feeling the open, feeling the front of our hip opening up. It is just a treat today for how much I can't talk this morning. Keep on breathing here. On the next exhale, let's go ahead and rock those hips back. Toe to the ceiling, toes to the ceiling. Try and get as deep into this as we can, breathing into the tightness we feel in our hamstrings today. It's just going to help us open everything up a little bit more here. And let's go ahead, exhale, back to our hip flexor. So we're squeezing that glute, push those hips forward, keeping our pelvis tucked. Great job, let's do one more deep breath. And we're gonna exhale, rock those hips back, bring the chest towards the knee. Try and get a little bit more into this stretch, a little deeper than we did the first time. Great job. One more deep breath. And on the exhale, we can gently come out of that. And then last thing here, real quick, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna interlace our fingers. We're gonna stay in this tall kneeling. Let's interlace those fingers, push those knuckles towards the ground, pull our hands apart, start to look towards the ceiling. We're gonna stretch our chest out a little bit here. We're gonna do three breaths here. Feel that chest expand, 
sigh away that tension. And one more deep breath. And on the exhale, we can gently release. And that is going to be all the time I have for you all this morning. So thank you all so much for joining me and dealing with my uh, inability to talk very well. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be better for exercise with Exos. But um, we do have two stretch breaks today. We got one at 11, one at 2.30, both with Luis. And we also have dance at 12.30, which is after exercise with Exos. And then finishing out today with abs and core and mobility with Brittany tonight at 4.30. You can join all of those classes through the Exos Fit app. So go ahead and go to the app store download that if you already downloaded it please go update it so you can get all the new features that we did launch after the original um, release of the app so definitely check that out um, and we do also have all of our information up on SharePoint and stay up to date with us on Slack at hashtag Exos we got our 9-11 stair climb coming up um, in a couple weeks here so you can donate to our um, fundraiser at your on your cause which you can find through our SharePoint page so thank you all so much for joining me I hope you enjoy the rest of your morning and hopefully I will see you all either at a stretch break or at exercise with access today